A brand new high-tech security robot named Steve was found dead Monday morning floating lifelessly in an office tower fountain. Hi, I'm Adam Bozarth and welcome back to What's Trending. It's 2017, it's a high-tech age. We have jetpacks. Well, kinda. But we also have flying cars. That, but they only work over the water. Uh, but we also have robotic security guards. But they're not as much like Robocop. You are under arrest. As they are like Marvin the Paranoid Android from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Oh, please yourself. Here I am, brain the size of a planet, and they asked me to take you up to the bridge. Call that job satisfaction, because I don't. Steve was a creation of Nightscope, a robotics company that specializes in security robots. Steve was a Nightscope K5. The K5 units are five feet tall and weigh 300 pounds. They're equipped with a variety of cameras and sensors, acting almost like a cross between a security guard and a security camera. They have regular patrols, where they look for disturbances or log license plate numbers in parking lots, but but they can also respond to unusual disturbances, alert authorities to intruders, and capture their faces with facial recognition software. The K5 Securitrons are already keeping the Microsoft campus secure, but now they are starting to move out of Silicon Valley. In the Georgetown area of Washington, D.C., one building announced the arrival of their new K5 by saying, we have a new sheriff in town in the form of a robot. Yeehaw. Five days later, Sheriff Steve was being fished out of the atrium fountain. And some folks are not that sad to see Steve go offline. Christopher Dorsey writes, Today was a win for the humans. Robots, zero. Humans, one. But other people realize that a boring job is still boring, even if you're a robot. At Sparkle Ops says, It's okay, security robot. It's a stressful job. We've all been there. But why did Steve throw himself into the fountain in the first place? One Twitter user thinks they may have the answer. On Friday, Law Dog Esquire tweeted these photos saying, I printed out a short story from the short story robot and read it to the cop robot. After the weekend, Steve was found floating in the fountain. This led Mark McBride to frantically ask, what did the story say? It's a good question. We're gonna need to know how to stop the robots, especially if Elon Musk is correct about artificial intelligence. Elon Musk spoke to the National Governors Association calling for regulation of artificial intelligence. NPR reporter Dave Blanchard writes, we worry about cybersecurity and issues like that, but when we really have artificial intelligence at a great level, the weaponry, the ability to shut down whole parts of our cities, the ability to create such damage by turning off the electricity or making sure there's no water? No one knew what to say. How about yikes? However, as for Sheriff Steve, he did touch a few lives in his short life. The building where Steve worked for tweeted these photos of his memorial with the caption, we'll never let go, hashtag never forget, hashtag Steve. Are you afraid of the robot takeover? Let us know in the comments section below and please like and subscribe for more of What's Trending.